Yo, what's going on guys? Spag here, back so soon with another video. Guys, the geese is lease. The goose is loose. Finally, Geese Howard has uh, hit the Tekken shores. Um, such a unique character to Tekken, one that um, a lot of us Tekken heads are not going to be used to. So I thought I've, I've played around with this character, I'm finding him very, very fun. Um, so I thought I'd make a video because this is a character that is, um, like I said, it's going to be hard for a lot of uh, a, a lot of Tekken players to get used to. Um, he's got a lot of unique tools. So um, yeah, it's, it's going to be very interesting to see how he develops in the future. But this is not a comprehensive guide like one, uh, a lot of my other videos. Uh, it's not going to have the most optimized stuff. It's just going to be a basic introduction uh, to let people know uh, what ge what geese is all about. So having said that, um, let's go through what the structure of this is going to be. So we're going to go through, first of all, our overview. Second, our punishes. Number three, our top moves. Number four, the parries. Uh, number five, max mode. And then we're going to finish it off uh, with a bit of combos as well. Again, like I said, not optimized at all. There's going to be so much tech coming out. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of development with this character. People are going to uh, they're going to take up, they're going to put on their creative hats and uh, find a lot of good tech with this with this guy. So let's get straight into it. Um, overview, general overview of Geese. So what I found uh, through playing him online and and in practice mode is, as you can see on the screen, we're our pros. Uh, I think he has good movement. I think um, Geese, uh, unlike Eliza and Akuma, actually has a very good sidewalk and a good backdash. This is um, not like we've had for the other two guest characters um, in Akuma and well, Eliza's. I don't know. Yeah, Eliza as well has a bit of um, a bit of weird movement. Um, this is way more like a Tekken character with his backdash and sidewalk. Uh, number two, he's got really strong mids. Uh, we'll go through that uh, when we get into the top moves. Uh, I think he's got good range. Um, his parries are really, really unique to Tekken. And we'll talk about that as well later on. And I think he's got really good homing moves as well. Um, better than a lot of the cost. Moving on into the cons, I think from what I've seen, um, apart from one low, he does have not the best lows. Um, also, he doesn't have a quick standing launcher. Uh, without meter. He needs to have meter in order for him to get a normal sort of launch from standing. So if he doesn't have meter, um, he doesn't really have a quick standing launcher, which is a pretty big um, con for for uh, Geese. And then moving on, I think he has questionable whiff punishes. Again, um, it's not clear that he... Um, it's not. It's not clear yet that this is the way it's gonna. It's gonna end up being because this character for sure gonna be developed. It's gonna be people finding out stuff all the time, but that's what I think. Um, just uh, from first impressions. Now let's move on and talk about Geese Howard's uh, punishes. So from for I ten we have a standard one one two. Um, now one one two is pretty plus on on hit, and it's it's actually pretty good. It's got decent damage. Um, it's not like a mission, of course it doesn't knock down, but it's actually pretty good. Um, an alternative is one quarter cycle back one, um, just like that, which is also pretty good. It's just a little bit less damage one, less damage than um, one one two, but at the wall, um, you will get a, um, a wall splat. Um, so that's actually pretty good to have a 10 frame wall splat um, punisher is pretty good. We then have for I-12, back one two. Now let's talk about back one two for a minute. So it's 27 damage, so it's pretty good. Um, what's interesting is it's plus, it's plus four, I believe, on on hit, but it's it's actually safe on block. Um, and as you guys see, it's a high mid, so it's not like you can duck it. Um, it's minus seven, so if I don't want to be that guy to give you guys a flow chart, but I predict if if I don't tell you, someone else is gonna do it anyway back one two on block into duck launch like i don't know guys i don't know uh, i think that's gonna work quite a bit i think you're gonna see a lot of people trying to punish this on block it looks very punishable but it's safe it is absolutely it is minus seven it is safe on block so again a, a good uh, i12 uh, punisher there for i13 we have a down forward one one of course um you wouldn't you wouldn't want to be using that you just want to for i13 again use back one two or one one two um, or if you're at the wall, of course, um, you know, use your your 10 frame. For I-14, we have back 3-2. Uh, 
Now, back view 2 is um, punishable. It's minus, it's minus 15, so it's launch punishable on, on block. Uh, the thing about this move is that you can't actually get any follow-ups uh, without meter, but actually with meter, it becomes a launcher. So if you press 1 plus 2 after back 3, 2, there you go, you get an actual launch from it. So uh, remember that, guys. Uh, he actually has an, a standing I-14 launcher, but you need to have meter in order to do it. So for I-15, we have um, standing 2. Now, standing 2 is, is pretty good. It's obviously 15 frames. It um, will allow him to... You can cancel it to go into forward 1. It's cancel. It's a cancel cancelable move. Man, we don't use these, mo these words in Tekken, man. So it's hard for me to say. So cancelable move, uh, which means that you can go into um, max mode straight away by pressing 1 plus 2. You can also do stuff like um, 2 forward 1. That will be your your sort of combo starter so to speak um, and then from there from from forward one you can um, you can do stuff like court, um, half circle back three uh, and half circle back four as well uh, which is this move uh, so from you know so if I give you an example bam bam boom uh, which is pretty good damage man um, from from standing to especially with the wall um, but let me give, I can give you a quick tip on how to do um, these really complicated half circle back motions because I know us Tekken players are not going to be used to it. After 2 and forward 1, you can actually just do quarter circle back 3, quarter circle back 4. You don't have to do the uh, full half circle back motion. Shouts to Gosain for, for teaching me that. Um, but yeah, uh, you don't actually have to do the en entire half circle motion. So you can just do um, half circle back, uh, sorry, quarter circle back. Bam, bam. Yeah, so, okay, cool. And then for I-16, we have uh, Standing 4. Uh, standing 4 is a homing move. It's um, it's got it's got decent range. It's for, it's for those moves that have quite a bit of pushback. Um, I haven't done enough research to see if it can punish certain moves like Asuka back 3 or anything like that, but it does punish Death Fist at some ranges. So this is your long range punisher for those things that can't be reached, uh, that you can't reach with other moves. So moving on into uh, while standing punishment, it's actually very interesting in, uh, in terms of Geese because he actually has an I-10 um, punish from, from full crouch, which allows him to punish stuff that, you know, like say, say for example, uh, Josie down 4, he'll get a, a punisher on that. So what we do is we do a, dick, uh, a, 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 a low jab <coughs> into quarter circle back 1. Bam bam. So that's I-10. For I-11, we have a standard while standing 4. For I-13, we have a while standing 1, quarter circle back 1. Bam bam. Just like that. Um, pretty good. Pretty good. And then for I-15, we have full crouch down forward 1. Uh, just like this. Boom. That is his while standing launcher. Uh, and you get a full combo from that normal launcher on normal hit. So now that we've gone through his punishes, let's move into the crux of the uh, the tutorial, which are the top moves. Geese Howard's top moves. Now, of course, the character's only been out for uh, less than a day. So um, the top moves is subject to change. Of course, everything here is subject to change. People are going to be doing research all the time. However, there are some moves in his move list which are so obviously top in his move list that I have to talk about them. So number one, I want to talk about his down forward one. Now, down forward one, although we'll keep it simple, it's... Um, it's a normal down forward one in that it's uh, it's 13 frames, it's minus one on block, just like other people's down forward one, but it's actually plus seven on hit, um, which means that he has a lot of frame advantage. So this is actually a pretty good down forward one. It's a good way to get in and start your offense. Um, it also tracks to one of his sides as well. So the tracking is also there. It's not just a very linear down forward one like some characters have. Um, there's also an extension from the down forward one with down forward one one, which is minus two on block, and um, it's it's you know it's it's, it's duckable. You can duck it, um, but he also has a an ex um, a mid extension as well. Now be careful when you use this mid extension because it is minus fourteen. Um, but you know if you notice that your opponent is ducking the down forward one one, um, it might not be a bad idea to uh, to throw to throw it out. Uh, moving on, we have. 1 plus 2. Now, this move is very interesting because um, it's a mid I-13. It's a mid I- my mid I-13 move, which is um, minus 9. It's safe. It's safe on block. Um, gives you frame advantage on hit and also on counter hit will give you guaranteed damage. 
So as you see there, a pretty good move. Um, not not sure what else you can kind of get from it. Apparently you can get that. So <laughs> if you have uh, two bars of meter, you can also do that move. That's 62 damage, not bad. For a safe mid, that's I-13. It really opens up um, Geese's offense to, you know, it makes it'll make your opponent keep that in, your, in, in their mind because it's something that can counter hit them. You have a counter hit move that can do damage. Um, maybe also he can get the ground throw from it as well. Uh, let's see. There we go, stand up. Boom. Uh, so there's multiple options for you depending on what you want to do uh, from that. You guys can go into jump into practice mode and see what else you can get uh, from this move as well. I'll be very interested to see what you guys find. Moving on. So we have down forward two. Down forward two is a homing mid. It's 19 frames, so it's not the, it's not the quickest, but a mid that's um, got good range and uh, is homing. And the, f the funny thing about this move is it's actually um, minus five, which means it's very safe on block, and it launches on counter hit. Boom. So just like that, it launches on counter hit. You get a full combo from it. So down four two, of course, also a very very good move, uh, especially against people who are gonna who are. Who, there's some players that just like to step for no reason, step all the time. This move is gonna be perfect because it's very plus on normal hit, and it launches on counter hit. So, great move. Very, very good move. Oh, and now we're going to be moving into one of his lows. Now, I said at the beginning of this tutorial that his lows were bad. And um, at first glance, that's what they kind of seem like. They seem like they're kind of risky. Um, you know, you have moves like, um, I don't know, down four. Now, down four could... It actually seemed like a good move back at, back when we saw the trailers, but it actually staggers on block. It's, it doesn't do much damage. There is actually one move that is good, one low. It's sidestep three. Now sidestep three is minus 12 only, does 18 damage, so it's not heavily punishable, and it ca uh, it combos on counter hit. Now the, I was trying to figure out how to do a combo, and it is actually kind of hard. Um, I guess the easiest thing to do from it, oops, okay, the easiest thing to do from it would be the ground throw, if if I can do it. Oh no, I have to time it better. Here we go. Oosh. Uh, so that does a good uh, chunk of damage for a minus 12 low. Um, but you can also get a full combo if you sidestep left and do it. So, um, sidestep left. Oops. Boom. Bam, bam. And, um, oh, wrong move. So, sidestep left. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. So, um, I'll, I'll show the combo at the end of the video. But if you sidestep left into sidestep 3, uh, it will give you access to a, a combo that... Uh, Depending on if you're in the close range, you, you know, if you're in, if you're in a really far range and you get it, it won't be possible. But keep in mind that if you sidestep left and do it, you can get a full combo from sidestep three. So sidestep three, a very, very good low. Uh, although the rest of his lows aren't aren't amazing. Moving on, we have four. It's the standing four. We we went through this for his punishers. Um, it was a like we said an I sixteen move. Has good range. Um, it's it's quick. Uh, it will stop your opponent from from stepping uh, and it'll knock them down as well so at the wall of course you get a full uh, you get a, a counter hit uh, sorry a, a wall splat um, a, a good move and the great thing about this move is combos on counter hit so counter hit you will get a combo on this as well boom boom moving swiftly on um, Geese is one of those characters that also has a running move so think about someone like uh, Dragonov with his wild running 2 Elisa with wild running 2 uh, Kazumi with wild running 2 uh, Geese has a wild running one. Boom. Um, you see, it kind of it, when he does it, he kind of uh, pushes him back. Not pushes him back, but he he isn't really too um, too close to you. So it's it's good in that way. It's kind of like Kazumi, but it is minus eight. It's safe, but it's not plus or neutral like like the other characters. So they actually get advantage or you know pressure with theirs. This is more of a just you know get into um, or maybe trying to fish for a. Um, a wall splat or something it was just an easy easy way to get in but be careful because it is very linear um, unlike the other characters this this character can actually be stepped here the wild running two can be uh, wild running one can be stepped left or right so it is something you need to really be not too predictable with yeah, predictable you can't be predictable with it okay now moving on to one of the moves that uh, uh, caught everyone off guard forward one plus two now you can look at the range of this move yeah 
Uh, it's got really good range. Forward one plus two. It's it's um, it's safe on block, safe on block, and um, it launches a normal hit. And it's uh, it's very very uh, good good great range. Uh, although it's slow, so it, I don't know how it's going to be used in practical terms as a whiff punisher. But it's actually pretty good, you know. So move um, gives you a a full full combo. Uh, so forward one plus two as well. Keep this in mind. Uh, uh, clearly one of his top moves. And now I want to talk about a, a move which um, I think pe a lot of people are going to use. I think you'll be very interested to know about this move. Uh, down 1 plus 2. It's a slow knockdown low which will give you a free <laughs> a free uh, throw on on uh, normal hit. So boom, into the ground throw. And just for reference, the, de the, the ground throw is down 2 plus 4. Um, I, I don't have to put that as a separate thing. I'll just tell you it's down 2 plus 4. So down one plus two into down two plus four. Pretty, it's pretty cheap. I like, I like it. I think a lot of people are gonna enjoy that move. And and now one move which I I wanna, I said I said it wasn't good, but I wanna put it in anyway. Uh, down four, because from down four it is a cancel cancelable move. Um, so you can actually um, go into different moves from from it. Uh, but it staggers on block. It doesn't do much damage on its own. You don't get anything guaranteed on hit after it, but on counter hit it does launch. So. You know, you see something like that. Uh, it does actually launch on on counter hit, so it, and it's quick as well. It's not slow. You know, it's not something that people are going to be able to react to very easily. So I did want to uh, put it in there because on paper it may not look too good, but I think in practical terms it might be something good to open up an opponent with. Keep that in mind as well. And one really really unique move uh, that um, Geese has is back two. Now back two is a mid um, a mid punch which is minus three or minus two on block. I think minus three, right? Um, the animation's really good in that it looks like it's plus on block, but it's actually minus three. Um, but what's interesting about this move is it, it causes a wall bounce. Uh, this is completely new to Tekken. So if I show you this, I can get a wall bounce. Even at this range where Geese is, sta uh, is standing at now, it's sort of like it will give you a wall splat at this range. Uh, now for a mid, that's only minus three. That's really, really good. Um, and then I'll be able to wall splat, a uh, re-wall splat, and it's going to depend on the range you're at, what, what combo you're going to do. But actually, Geese will be able to get a combo, a wall splat, even at this range, as you can see now. Boom, boom, boom. So you can actually get like a full wall splat. Um, that wall bounce uh, mechanic is completely new to Tekken, and it's only exclusively with uh, Geese. So back to, as you see there, little tiny bounce. Definitely something that could uh, be really fun to, to play around with. And I think I'll finish off with talking about uh, Reb Hukin. Uh, course like a forward one. Boom. Um, now this move is, I believe, minus 13. So if you're in a very close range and it's blocked, it's something that can be punished. So keep that in mind. But, uh, you know, you really want to be using this like just like uh, Eliza's Dark Wave. Uh, you want to be using it to kind of range your opponent out. Um, you know, try to keep him, keep him at bay. If, especially if you're trying to time scam you know trying to just delay your opponent and you know prevent him from getting in uh you know that's that's an option as well uh you know quarter circle forward one is the input so repukin also very unique to tekken as well so keep that in mind too and then i thought i would talk about just um jumping uh two so this move can be plus on block if it's if it's um spaced at the right way um, it's an option which is very unique to Tekken because we don't we usually jump in this game. We don't usually jump, so uh, jumping uh, or up forward two, I should say, is um, is a pretty good move, and it will give you a um, a combo on on normal hit. So boom, boom, boom. Wait, let's try that again. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. There we go. See, so you can actually get a full combo from it as well. So you guys keep uh, this in mind too. Uh, jumping to and it's safe on block can be actually plus on block uh, at certain ranges So I'll finish off the top move section by talking about standing two. standing two is a cancelable 15 frame mid um, So you can go into um, Max mode from it. It's a combo starter as well um, You can you can get damage from it like I, like I showed you with um, two forward one into uh, half circle stuff so you can get damage that way uh, but with meter it actually give you it will give you a full combo as well so keep that in mind. Four, two, one. You hold. Um, you hold. Uh, one plus two. Ma ma uh, hit one plus two after two forward one. Boom, 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 and then you can continue the combo on. We'll talk about the combos at the end of the video. Actually, I lied. Uh, I did want to add one more move in here. 
um, because we're talking about practical terms. We don't care about the paper. We don't care about the theory and all, you know, what people are saying on paper. I want to talk about down three because I think this move is maybe being overlooked a little bit. Um, I said he's got bad lows, but uh, because on paper it looks that way. Um, and I think I think it may be true. I think it still may be true. But I'm going to add this in anyway because I think down three, just like, um, uh, what's his name? Claudio's down three. It has good range. Uh, look at that, it's got pretty good range. It's um, Although it's minus on hit, but it's only minus 12 on, on block. So it's not heavily punishable. So this again, I'm trying to give you um, options to open up your opponent. Um, you know, so keep down three in, in mind as well. Right guys, so let's get into the fun part of this tutorial, which is the parry. This is what makes Geese very, very um, uh, unique to all the rest of the Tekken characters. He has three different parries. He has a high parry, he's got a mid parry, and he has a low parry. Now, the the uh, high parry is half circle, uh, half circle back, uh, one plus three, and I'm going to show you this one right now. It parries a lot of things. Let's see. And I'm going to try. I'm going to do rage art. Okay, I'm going to do rage art, and you can see that it's going to parry. Oosh. So uh, yeah, that's uh, a, a high parry. So of course, like I said, um, it's only it's a high parry. So it's only gonna uh, parry highs. Um, it's not. See, when I watched this, when I watched the tutorial, that was the one that was shown over and over again. It was dope, um, the predictable. Um, <laughs> but it looked like it would it would sort of parry highs and mids. But no, you actually have to make an educated guess. Um, and I think the best application for these is when you know something is coming. So for example, uh, Leo back one four. If you parry Leo's back one four, that's a mid, right? The, the four is a mid, uh, so you would end up doing the mid parry. If you see a string that's got a, a high extension, you would do the high parry that you just saw. So this one here does 45 damage. Um, the you know chuck it over, so we'll show you again. Boom! That does 45 damage, so it's pretty pretty good. The only thing about these parries is that, as you can see, they have pretty bad um, recovery. Um, they have pretty bad recovery. So you can punish them pretty easily. Um, bam. Yeah, so you've got to be careful uh, about using them, but use them in a situation, in my opinion, application-wise, use them where you can actually parry specific strings that um, other characters may not be able to deal with. So now let's talk about his um, mid parry. So the mid parry is half circle um, back, half circle back, two plus four. Now, um, this one will parry mid, and it actually is plus 16, I believe. So it will give you an, uh, a, a free launch on, on hit. So, let me see. Boom. And it throws you away, and it will allow you to get a combo. So I guess the combo that you would do is um, back 3-2 afterwards. Um, let, me try and sh let me try and do it myself on the computer. There you go. So it does give you a, a full combo on um, when you actually get the parry. So this one is a bit of a stronger parry as well. So th like I said, its application is definitely best used against moves like Leo back one four, like something. It's not, uh, or maybe if you have a, a, a read on when your opponent's going to use a down forward one or something like that, it's definitely something that could uh, could be thrown out. So a half circle, f uh, half circle back, two plus four. And now to finish it off, we have the low, the low parry. <laughs> It's funny because you could just low parry any. You could just normally low parry, right? But now nah, we're geese. We're geese Howard. We're gonna do a specific low parry. This low parry is very, very interesting uh, in that it's sort of the same as um, you know the uh, the mid one in that it gives a it gives a combo on on hit. So let's try this right now. Boom! Insta tailspin does quite a bit of damage as well, and it will allow you boom to continue the combo on. So I guess in a way, it's better than a normal low parry. In that it will, um, it does, it does, it does a lot of damage on um, for the first hit. It does a big chunk of damage too, uh, allow you to f to continue on the combo. So insta tailspin, low parry. I can't wait to see how people apply these parries in uh, in their games, in normal games, because I think the potential for here. Of course, this, like I said, guys, I'm not a geese expert. No one is, right? All I can say is what I think that this this character should be used for and what, is, what his tools should be used for. And I think um, all three of these parries should be used in situations where you're trying to defeat certain strings. Um, it, it'll be good in situations like against, like I said, Leo back on four uh, and other strings of that like, um, where you can actually um, see that a certain string's gonna come out and, and parry it. Uh, so 
yeah, Geese, Geese is going to be really good uh, in that way. I think there's a lot of potential for his parries, and I can't wait to see how people apply them. Moving swiftly on, guys. Max mode. Maximum mode. Let's talk about this. This is, again, a very unique thing to um, to Geese. Nobody nobody else has this. Of course, it's like it's sort of similar to meter. You build up the meter the same way that you would with Akuma. You know, you um, if you get hit or you, you, get, you block stuff, you... Um, you hit yourself, you know, if you get hit uh, yourself, um, this meter will build up and the meter is very, very useful because like I said earlier, it will give Geese access to launches which he doesn't normally have without them. Uh, but we'll go into that a little bit later. Let me just talk about briefly um, what max mode is and what it gives you access to. So max mode is, is activated by doing 1 plus 2 plus 3. Boom. And it run, of course, it takes one bar of meter and it runs down slowly, slowly. I haven't counted how how um, long it takes, but you know you do have a uh, quite a bit of time to to do stuff. Now, what this does is multiple things. So I'll tell you in order what this what max mode is capable of doing. So from what I've seen, number one, it will allow your power crush to become uh, plus on block instead of minus 14. So the power crush is half circle back three plus four. Boom, boom. So that on its own uh, is, is a pretty good power crush move because it will give um, a, a wall splat. But, um, but it actually becomes plus on block in max mode. So let's, let's try that. Boom. Half circle back. Boom, boom, boom. Actually becomes uh, plus on block. And as you see, um, actually it gives a different animation on hit as well. So that's number one. Uh, number two, uh, the double Rapukin, which is quarter circle forward one plus two, also becomes um, uh, plus on block. Usually this move is um, is is actually minus. Um, actually, launch punishable. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken, uh, at certain ranges you you will get launched for it. it. Actually becomes plus on block in max mode as well. So that's number two. Uh, number three, there's also um, this move forward one plus two into quarter circle back one plus two. Um, boom boom. And this move isn't isn't um, it's not uh, plus, but actually in max mode it becomes. Uh, it does, it does become plus and it looks like it leaves you a little bit closer to your opponent as well so you can maybe potentially get some combos from it too haven't done much research on that but keep that in mind as well it gives you a property change on this move as well and finally i think what the most important thing is is all the moves that you can cancel the um uh into max mode become plus as well so um i'll give you a few examples you can cancel it by doing uh, two, standing 2 by pressing 1 plus 2 you have to press 1 plus 2 to cancel so 2 1 plus 2 um, jab into 1 plus 2 uh, down 4 into 1 plus 2 so it gives you a little bit of a run it allows you to extend your combos and even get combos so let's say for example back 3 2 uh, you couldn't normally get a combo from this this is your i14 launcher but you can't get a combo unless you cancel into max mode by pressing 1 plus 2 so back 3 boom into this bam 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 Oosh, 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 yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, back three, two as well. Uh, forward one. So, we talked about forward one a little bit. Um, it's actually launch punishable on normal hit, but if you cancel, it becomes plus. And uh, you can do two forward one in, and then get a full combo from this. Two forward one, cancel, two forward one, and then you can blah, 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 blah. You can continue the combo one. And also, you can do it from forward three, uh, this move here. Boosh. So, um, I can give you a, f a couple of examples near the end of the video of how you can use that in a combo. Um, it's not going to be optimized at all, but it's going to give you an idea of how to use max mode um, in that way. Now, the last thing we want to talk about is um, just the moves from uh, max mode. What does he get access to? So, let's talk about it in order. So, we have these moves here. Quarter circle back 2-3. Boom, boom. And quarter circle back 2-4. Boom, boom. Now this is a mix-up on on hit if, on block. Sorry, if you block that, it's a mix-up, mid or low, right? Uh, and both options will give you the ground throw. Stand up. Uh, oh, and the low as well. Ish, ish, boom. The goosh. But in um, max mode, the the properties of those moves change as well, and you have to do quarter circle back one plus two three and one plus two four. So I'll show you, and both give a full launch, by the way. To activate bam bam so that's a launcher and also um, boom boom and then you get a launcher from that too so uh, those certain that mix up from the quarter circle back two and three 
those things are changed in uh, in 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 max mode. They actually give you access to two launches, mid uh, or low. So it's actually pretty good. You get a you get a complete mix up uh, with that move. So if you want to put your opponent into a 50-50 situation, activate max mode and half circle, um, quarter circle back. One plus two, three, and one plus two, four. So guys, I hope that this video has been helpful for you to at least understand Geese Howard a little better. Of course, a lot of the tools that he has are very, very uh, unique to Tekken. We're not, us Tekken heads are not going to be used to this, so it's very hard to get your head around initially. So I hope that this has given you enough information to at least get started. Of course, the character's only been out for, it's been out for less than a day. So there's going to be a lot of tech coming out in the coming weeks. Um, a lot of stuff that I haven't mentioned in my video. Maybe there are going to be certain moves that I mentioned that I said were good that potentially maybe aren't actually that good. Or some moves that I haven't mentioned that are actually very, very good. But this is what my take on it was initially. I just want to give you guys an opportunity to sort of get into the character so you can pick him up. Um, understand the character and I want to give a quick shout out to Mr. Adamo for, for teaching me a lot about this character he's a, a very knowledgeable guy you guys know me as a Cat Arena player this guy actually taught me how to use Cat Arena uh, initially before the game was released um, so guys uh, yeah, shout outs to you Adam and uh, of course to Kira as well and all the guys that helped me with this uh, with this character so I'm going to go into combos after this and I'm not going to be on, on mic or on cam but uh, I'm going to give you just a few simple combos to get yourself started. They're not going to be the best combos, but I'll give you some some bread and butter stuff for you to get started. And maybe you can find out some better combos and hit me up on Twitter and show me what you found. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, if there's anything you want to see, let me know in the comments. If there's any way I can improve my videos, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you next time. Peace.